Hey guys, welcome back to Zoo Atlanta and for another episode of Animal Tales. Today we're going to read Ellie by Mike Wu right in front of the elephant habitat so you can see some of our elephants in person during the reading. Ellie by Mike Wu. As you can see, one of the stars of the book is an elephant. On a bright winter day, when Ellie was just finishing her lunch, the zookeeper came by with an announcement. Gather round, Walt Cod called. I have some news. It is a sad day, he said. The zoo is closing. The animals were heartbroken. There must be something we can do, Ellie whispered to her friends. The zoo is our home. Perhaps we can spruce it up a bit, Gerald suggested. Gerald always had good ideas. I'll prune the trees, Lucy said, nibbling at a leaf. What kind of animal is Lucy? She's a giraffe. If only my trunk were longer, said Ellie. I'll move this rock, Gerald huffed, clearing it off the path. What kind of animal is Gerald? He's a gorilla. If only my muscles were bigger, said Ellie. We've already cleaned here, said the monkeys. What can I do to help, Ellie wondered. Ellie looks a little sad. I wonder what's gonna happen next. It seemed like everyone had a talent. Everyone but Ellie. Ellie thought she'd ask Walt to give her a job, but he was so busy too. <sighs> when the monkeys called him away, Ellie picked up the strange object he'd been holding. It had a smooth wood on one side and prickly hairs on the other. Look at that. What do you think it is? I bet you can guess. Let's read on and find out. <gasps> Ellie gave it a try. <gasps> When Walt returned and saw her creation, he sprinted back down the path without a word. <gasps> what did she create? She painted a flower. Had she ruined the wall? She was worried. Doesn't she look worried? Soon she heard a wagon with a squeaky wheel turn the corner. Maybe Walt didn't like her painting. Ellie added color here. Ooh, look at that. And a rainbow there. There were so many walls to color and so many colors to try, Ellie painted all of her friends. She painted the tallest ones, the smartest ones, and the quietest ones. It's a little one right there. It's a little mouse. Word spread of Ellie's talents. Roar! Chirp! Ellie the artist. Look, they're calling all of their friends and telling everyone. People came from all over the city to have their portraits painted. Some came with balloons. Ooh, don't bring balloons to Zoo Atlanta. We don't allow them. Others came with awards. Ellie even painted Mr. Mayor with a smile. How about that? Soon people from around the world came. See Ellie, the remarkable painting elephant. Did you know that our elephants paint too? They paint sometimes as part of enrichment. It helps keep them engaged. It's super fun. Stop by the gift shop sometime and you'll be able to see some of their original paintings. Lucy hosted the crowds as they arrived at the zoo. Wow. Gerald led the tours through Ellie's art gallery. And on a bright spring day with crowds cheering him on, Walt declared, we are open for good. Thanks to Ellie. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, hello, we have some visitors. So make sure you stop by and see us next time you're in the neighborhood here in Grant Park at Zoo Atlanta. We hope to see you and you can visit our elephant friends as well as all of our other elephants. See you soon.